This time we are going to begin talking about the general characteristics of group 1a elements of the S block and we will take a character like for example the presence of one electron in an S orbital and we knew previously that uh, these elements all of these elements end with an S orbital just carries one electron so what are the characteristics that depend on this feature of these elements? Here we have six points that are actually related to this characteristic of group one and eight elements. So the first thing is, as the s orbital is the first orbital that we know from the atomic orbitals in the arrangement of the periodic table, and because it carries just one electron. So these, all of these elements are found in the beginning of periods in the periodic table. So um, they are found on the very left part of the periodic table. If we say that the periodic table has a shape like that, so they are found here at the beginning of all the periods of the periodic table. So this is the first point. The second point is, is that they are very, very, very reactive because they are easily ionized. They are easily ionized. If we take sodium as an example, it carries 11 electrons. So, as we mentioned in the previous time, it has an electronic configuration similar to the preceding, uh, the preceding inert gas, so in this case it's neon, and then we add an extra an extra S orbital with one electron. So this is the electron of configuration of sodium. It's very very simple that the element loses this electron and it becomes easily ionized. All of the elements have the same feature. They just carry one electron in an S orbital. So it's very, very easy to leave the atom. But on the other hand, so we conclude from that that the first ionization energy is very low uh, compared to the next elements in the period. But the second ionization energy is very, very, very high because if you look at the configuration of neon, it, it's 1s2 and then 2s2, 2p6. So if, if you remove an electron from the p orbital, it's fully uh, or completely filled. It's fully stable and picking out an electron from this p orbital is very, very hard and requires a very, very large amount of energy. So that's why the second and the third ionization energies of these elements is much, much, much higher than the first ionization energy. The next thing is that the oxidation number of these elements is plus one. Of course, they just give up one electron, so the oxidation number is plus one. And accordingly, as they are easily oxidated, they are very, very strong reducing agents. They reduce other elements by giving them electrons. And when these elements are ionized, the configuration of the ion or the ionic configuration becomes similar to the configuration of the inner gas preceding the element. As we remove the, the S1 orbital here, here we get the electronic configuration of neon. This is the same as the configuration of the Na plus ion. Because the atomic number, instead of being 11, becomes a 10. So the same as neon. The last thing that we have to say is that uh, they have a point of weakness in the formation of the metallic bonds, in the formation of metallic bonds. As previously, when we talked about the metallic bond, we said that the strength of the metallic bond depends on the valence electrons 
that are found that can um, share with each other the outer layer of the metal and form the bond. So as here we have just one electron, the metallic bonds of these elements are very weak and they are relatively malleable and have low melting points. So these are the characteristics related to the presence of one electron in an outermost energy level as an S orbital. And uh, we will continue talking about the general characteristics of group 1A elements and until the next time, I thank you for watching and see.